Hey Archery Talk, this is Lucas. Um, I came to my club late tonight, which is Sunday night. It's just after midnight now on Sunday night. Uh, just to test out a couple of the hunting bows. Wanted to get them sighted in. And after I finished sighting them in and putting 50 arrows or so through them, I decided let's do something potentially dumb. And I, so I decided to do a kind of a full five spot round, a 300 round, uh, alternating rounds between the APA Mamba 34 and the Obsession Fixation 6. Just wanted, to, I just, just wanted to see how these two bows would do on this one night. Take it for what, what it's will, uh, for what you will. Uh, but my observation, I dropped, so in the, you know, in the 30 years I shot out of this bow, I ended up dropping three points, or four points rather, and I dropped one point out of the Obsession. Uh, and then the X count, the Obsession, ended up getting four more Xs than the APA did. I won't tell you the total X count, because it's not very good. Uh, I learned a few things, I'm, it's probably not perfect for accuracy to switch from bow to bow from end to end but uh, ultimately it was kind of a fun little experiment I found the obsession which feels like it weighs quite a bit more uh, felt very stable to me none of these bows have a stabilizer on them yet it's just a uh, just a sight a peep and a rest um, but the I just found the obsession held a little bit steadier for me on target without any stabilization at all uh, whereas the APA held fine I think it just would have been benefited a little bit from uh, maybe a small stabilizer just to even things out a little bit. The obsession again is again is much heavier. It's got it's got these weights in the uh, in the limb dampeners. There's little six little steel weights in the top and the bottom each, uh, which probably helps make this thing a little steadier and a little heavier. The at the wall, the obsession maybe felt like it had a slightly less valley uh, or let off than the APA did. Um, the APA was probably a little bit easier to hold that draw, uh, which again might be another thing that made the obsession feel a little bit steadier to me. But this is just after one day really of getting good arrows behind these behind each of these bows. They both shot well. All of my misses, of course, which is classic for me, were six o'clock. Um, so I don't know how much you can blame the bow, particularly on that. It's probably me being a little bit tired and the awkwardness of switching from uh, bow to bow. But I just wanted to give a quick little update on a fun little competition I had with myself. Uh, that's it, so have a good night and we'll talk to you soon.